Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, the Val 53 Tarot, which is a review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. down. Wow. It's almost like they don't want me pulling their energy today, Sagittarius. I don't know why or what's going on. And then I say that, and then the energy that shows up with it, um, I will question this to the clarifiers, but difficult, very difficult for some reason. We'll see why. That might be why. There we go. Oh, this might be why. Um, <laughs> goodness, I did not expect any of this to happen or unfold the way it is. Um, <laughs> keeping tabs on the animals. But jumping into the Sagittarius, because goodness, what they are showing me, unfortunately, and I'm going to say unfortunately at the start of this, because... They're showing me that whatever's going on regarding their situation or possibly the situation between the two of you, I'm not too sure exactly quite yet, but they, it, it, they're they showing me that they feel like they've gotten their warning signs multiple times before this. Now, whatever they are once again being warned about, um, I'm not too sure what this is, but it possibly is something regarding the home situation, possibly their foundation, what they have built or created for themselves. Not too sure exactly what this is. Um, but here's what's very fascinating. Something is definitely destined or for, or uh, fated to take place here. Um, whatever this is that's going on regarding their situation, I do see that they are coming up with some sort of idea. But at the same time, they're also showing me that it seems as if they are blocked with moving forward with this idea or this plan. Don't exactly know which one it is. Um, but they're also showing me that something that just isn't going through. Something's not working, something that they're trying to create, something they're trying to do, it's not working. I'm not too sure what this is, whether it's just an energy of they have no vision um, or they do have vision and what they're doing to kind of create this isn't in the best light. Now, that being said, they do show up. Here's the fascinating part. They do show up very sharp and clear and very aware of what position and mindset and perspective they are in. Yet at the same time, they know they need to make a decision regarding commitment or dedication, whether it's between the two of you or not, but they're refusing to do so because there is some sort of financial opportunity here showing up at the end. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what some of this is. Let's see. Yeah, and that's what's crazy is they're showing me this unwillingness to even acknowledge this fully 
there's an unwillingness to. They're kind of like, well, I understand it. I kind of get it. But they're kind of just shrugging it off. And that's what's fascinating is there you are, Sagittarius, popping out. So it's an energy of whether they're getting warning signs about you or vice versa. You're getting warning signs about them. I'm not too sure. Um, but whatever this is, it's it's not a very pleasant energy. Not a very pleasant energy. This is someone that's kind of, well... Yeah, yeah, and that's what I thought. This could be a this could be regarding a living situation or something between the two of you because they do show me the foundation, but they ultimately show me, yeah, it's all fun and games and smiles and everyone's enjoying themselves. No, not really. It's all a facade, and that's exactly what I was talking about. They've gotten their warning signs before, but this is someone that's going to smile when deep down they're kind of like the opposite energy. Yeah, everyone, I'm sure everyone's been around that person where it's kind of like the class clown. They're smiling from ear to ear, big old grin on their face, but yet at the same time, it's because they're like insecure and they're hoping that people will accept them and kind of be okay with it. It's an energy of what they're showing is not what's going on. They're showing me stability, but it's kind of like it's not all, it's not all happy, happy. And that's what I was talking about. It's like, what is this warning sign that they keep ignoring? Mm. But they feel, geez, that's fascinating. It's almost like a life itself is using the situation, the circumstances to kind of push them. It's interesting. It's kind of like a push or a nudge. It's kind of like, get out there, do something. <laughs> okay, I see what's going to happen here with the tarot. The tarot is going to be a little playful with them because they're playing games. That's what's happening. Life is going to play games with them because they're playing games. I'm not taking something seriously here. Whether it's you or whether it's the situation. Ah, oh, jeez. And that's what I was wondering. What are they... <laughs> if they're willing to put themselves in this type of situation, what else are they willing to do? Because they're showing me they have a plan... At the same time, it's like, um, is this regarding a new beginning away from you? Or is this a, let's just say they're, they're getting ready to do something really stupid and take a risk here um, and get into, let's just say, energy work that they shouldn't. Black magic. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. This is someone, yeah, I feel like this is someone who's, who knows very well what they're doing. Yet at the same time, do they? They kind of present themselves as if they do. But they're kind of like, yeah, 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 it doesn't work now, but watch. It's kind of this energy of like, okay, well, if it didn't work the first time, what are you going to do? Double down? A little curious where that double energy is at then. They're showing me nothing's happening for them. But at the same time, they're kind of showing me that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Just have, just trust. I'm going to, this is, it's interesting. They're going to trust themselves because their own whatever craft isn't working. But yet they're showing me that they're working on something, but it's still not working. Yeah, there might be even consideration of communication between the two of you. So once again, they know exactly what they're doing, what they're not doing. But for some reason, it's like, do they, don't they, do they, don't they say something on this? Unless this is someone that's like, I know I have to start some sort of new journey on my own, but they're refusing to. There it is. There it is. It's done with. Whatever this is, it's done with. Whether they're just kind of someone that you have a good time with, whether it's someone you kind of met, friend, that type of thing. Um, if they are in a relationship or commitment with you, I do question that. I do question that because they're looking for an exit. 
And that's what's fascinating is they're saying, I'm not going to, they're choosing to, how do I say this? They're refusing to make that decision regarding commitment and dedication, yet they're hoping that something will kind of just, in a sense, bypass itself. It'll just kind of bypass itself. What is this? Is this is like black magic to not be picked up by tarot or energy. Like, what is this? No, 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 no. Just give it, just, just, uh, let's watch the clock, give it enough time. And eventually they won't be able to pick me up or sense me. You don't know how energy works, do you? Clearly not. You're, you're not as magician as you think you are, but hey, we'll go with it. All for the sake of a shiny coin, apparently. They're saying no. I don't have to do, I don't have to decide anything. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to start anything. There's some sort of financial opportunity right here. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is fascinating. Even they're not too sure on it. Even they're not too sure on it. Yeah, they, they definitely know. That's what's fascinating. They have this, yeah, I will say that. They, they have this awareness, like I said, of what they're doing at the same time. They're not too aware as they proclaim to be. Because whatever this financial opportunity is that they're pretty sure that they're aiming for, they're even questioning themselves on it. And that's what's fascinating is I kind of feel like their conscience is beginning to kick in towards the end here. And it's like, do I really want to move forward with this or do I not? Even though, yes, it is a genuine, authentic financial opportunity, even they're kind of questioning themselves like, hmm, is this the smart move? And I have to kind of say that cross watcher. If you're asking, asking yourself if that's a smart move, it's probably a dumb move, but there's free will to exercise. And well, everyone has their craft. We'll see how this one plays out. Goodbye.